You guys, I'm making tofu for the first time, and my girl Hannah Kirk just told me, um, please tell me you're YouTubing your reaction eating this because I need to see the real deal. <laughs> so, Hannah, for you girl, you got it. I'm going to film my reaction eating tofu for the first time. I just chopped it up into these pieces, and I'm not positive what I'm gonna add yet. So, I think for sure I'm gonna add coconut aminos. It's just a soy sauce replacement. With my tofu, I'm having this steam fresh broccoli cuts. You just put them in the microwave for like five minutes and they're really good. I'm also having some sweet potatoes that I just reheated that I made earlier on this week. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and olive oil to these. All right, this is what it looks like. It looks good, but you know, looks can be deceiving, so. All right, here goes nothing. This is what I'm doing so I can eat. <laughs> Are you a puppy? You a puppy? Rosalie. <gasps> Come show mama. Oh my goodness, you look beautiful. <laughs> Can I see him, baby? <laughs> Silly. Aww. You gonna give daddy a kiss? <laughs> oh. Aww, so sweet. Did you know daddy heard you toot in the bathtub earlier? All the way in the other room? <laughs> Stinky little girl. Been watching your mama too much. Say cheese. Is it yours? Mama's. It's mama's. <laughs> Excuse me. What are you doing? <laughs> Our legs are tunnels. Go get daddy. <laughs> Crazy. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh, <laughs> mommy's really short. <laughs> Oh my gosh, she just like literally sneezed and now she's wiping it on her shirt, awesome. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna wipe that off, hold on. Welcome back to the vlog, it's Friday. Zach has a work dinner this weekend, it's like a holiday dinner, New Year's thing. And Granny's coming to watch this little girl just for a couple hours tomorrow. I actually think I'm gonna wear this shirt tomorrow. But that's why I was wearing this in case I filmed a video. I actually wanted to apologize for not getting a video up yesterday because it's been crazy. I'm just gonna be honest, like I have not been feeling creative. It's, it's not for a lack of idea, it's just the follow through and like the actual execution of my ideas. So let me just say sorry for not getting a video up yesterday. Flowers. Beautiful girl. Frog. 
Fuck. <laughs> Why not the fuck? <laughs> She's saying frog. So get your mind out of the gutter. <laughs> Hair first. Can you say cheese? Ew. Oh, you're not gonna say cheese? Ew. Okay. You want zucchini bread? Bread. Oh, I do too. You want something to eat? No. Cookies. Cookies? But you don't want something to eat. Hmm, suspicious. <laughs> I'll probably grab her something to eat and then I'm gonna show you guys the wedding venue because we've already had it booked for a while now. Are you mocking me? Oh my gosh. <gasps> uh, wow. Say, <laughs> not me. Me. Not me. So I'll show you guys the wedding venue we've had it booked for a while now. <laughs> If you guys have seen Nemo, they do shark bait. Ooh, ah, ah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh. Is it gonna go in your belly? Is it gonna go in your belly? <laughs> yes, it is. Oh. It's good. Okay, so this is the zucchini bread. Oh my gosh. It's really moist and delicious. I do have the recipe on my channel. It's the cook and clean with me video, and it's the only one I have on my channel. So you guys saw us on Snapchat earlier with the puppies, but then we put the flower crowns on. <laughs> and Rosalie has been saying frog a lot lately. <laughs> Why are you staring at mama? And when she says frog, <laughs> Thank you. Um, it doesn't sound like frog when she says frog. <laughs> so this is like what the altar and everything looks like. It's over this little tiny pond and it has this wooden arch. You can decorate any way you want and I'll show you exactly how I want to decorate it. So this is what I would like it to look like. I think it's so pretty. I know there's a lot of florals on this particular one, but I think it's so nice with just the way it's draped. And then they, there's actually little white bulbs. I don't know if it'll focus, but yeah, there's little white bulbs right there. I think that would be really nice too. But with the water in the background, I just think it's perfect. And I can definitely picture having that right there. Like I just, woo, I'm getting so excited. So this is the view of the opposite side. So it is technically a refurbished barn, which I never thought I'd be getting married in a barn, but the inside is incredible. I'll definitely show you that next. But this is from the opposite side of the arch. So here's what the inside looks like. It's, how do I even describe it? It's very modern. There's like a huge chandelier in the middle that's very modern but i love the way the lights are strung it's very pretty it's very open and then it has this little fireplace right in the middle and then that's kind of where our head table would be okay here's a little bit better picture it's a little bit less bright so you can see what the chandelier looks like and how the lights are strung it looks really pretty and the space is very big I just like the vibe of the overall place. It's, we're in Illinois, so our options are kind of limited. <laughs> so this is the style of centerpiece that I went with. It's like not too crazy. All you do is get these picture frames, which is crazy. I actually have these already. I have these picture frames. All I do is just take this thing out. I know I haven't put a picture in it yet because I'm silly, um, but I'll just take that out and I can write a number on it. So I got these from TJ Maxx, but I have seen picture frames like this at Walmart. They're just a popular style and it'd be really easy to find. I know that. And so all you do is take a white chalk pen and then you just write the table number on that. And as far as the florals, I could arrange that centerpiece myself. 
Um, it's just like on a little stand and I would get some floral foam and then stick all my flowers in there. And then with these vases, those would not be hard to find or order somewhere. But it's really simple and then there's just like little tea lights. I don't know for sure what I'm gonna do with like the table placement yet. Literally, I was about to tell you guys I was making HelloFresh and then I started cooking and I forgot. But I'm making HelloFresh. <laughs> This is not HelloFresh. This is like Texan toast. Currently working on the sauce. But this is called beef ragu spaghetti and it smells really good. I'm almost done. This is coming to a boil and I gotta reduce it to a simmer. That's all I have to do is for that. And then I'm gonna add it to these noodles and then it's ready to eat, so. <laughs> also, I'm gonna have a glass of roscato with this meal. This video is not sponsored. <laughs> um, I've told you guys about this Riscato before, but um, or I've showed it in a few videos. This is my favorite wine ever. It's like a sweet red wine. This is what the bottle looks like. You can get it at Walmart. You can get it probably at most alcohol shops, but this is really good. It's very affordable. If you like Moscatos, you would definitely like this. What's out there? Is it snow? Oh! Did you notice my ring? Did you see it? Ooh! That's the ring we went with! So, okay, I have to be honest though, it didn't turn out quite how we were expecting. We were actually just headed to Hellsburg right now to kind of talk about it, but it's a little bit hard to see, but this dips down too far, like it just doesn't line up right. The symmetry is just a little bit off. You're probably thinking I'm crazy, but like the band itself doesn't it just doesn't look right in person. Like almost, this looks like it's a little bit more bent than it should be. I mean, overall it looks really pretty, but we're just gonna go and discuss and see if they see what we see, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, overall, like just from the above perspective, it looks beautiful. Hopefully we can figure out the situation. I'm about to run in and grab some diapers for Rosalie. Hopefully they have the right size. She's like in such an awkward place where the size six doesn't fit her, but like most brands don't make a size seven. Like I don't think at least we couldn't find the right size. So hopefully we can find something. As you guys saw, there's a freaking blizzard outside. So wish me luck. Zach's making me go. Hmm, slim pickings. Are there any size seven? Is that a thing? They have like the three T to four T, that kind of thing, but those are pull-ups or training pants. Just not, I don't think we can do that. Are you warm? So now that I've addressed the ring situation, I wanted to shout out my girl. She's a daily vlogger. Her name is Mari. She has, her channel's called Mari's Journal. Catching up with one of my best friends here on YouTube, Liz. I'm gonna leave her link down below if you wanna check her out. This is not a collab by the way, but I really like her channel. It's really nice. She got a really, 
really cute baby girl called Rosalie and I love her videos she does a lot of like healthy motivational workout videos also one thing that she talks about a lot on the videos is learning how to love yourself love you the way you are change your mindset and just keep it real make sure to leave her link down below to her channel so you want to check her out you would be really good friends with Rosalie wouldn't you Harry <laughs> I, yeah, she's really cute. But anyways, guys, I really like her videos because it's so motivational. Like, she's so healthy, but she talks about her struggle. She gives amazing ideas of recipes of healthy. Okay, mommy's gonna do one small register, guys. Just a second. One, not the whole package, because you're gonna make a mess on the sofa. Anyway, she does a lot of good videos like this, and it always makes me so excited. I'm already thinking about my recipe for tomorrow's lunch after watching her latest what i eat in a day video actually that's one of my favorite things about youtube is the connection that you make like the friendships like all the good people that you meet not everyone's gonna be nice to you or never not everyone you're gonna connect with but there's some people especially some mamas that honestly guys i wouldn't trade it for anything in the world i like it a lot it makes all the difference that honestly for me it's one of my favorite things about doing youtube is being connected being close to these people getting to know them a lot more but after watching this channel, I actually got so motivated to do the dishes and actually cook healthy meal for dinner and for tomorrow. So I just want to say thank you, Liz. I love your channel. Your videos help me so much. She just shouted me out and just said the sweetest things in her video. Uh, Mari, thank you so much. You have no idea how much that just like made my entire week, my entire month actually. I was definitely like tearing up while you were talking and We've had these conversations and you said a lot of these things to me just like over messages But like actually hearing you say it in your video and say that my videos have helped you in any way That That makes what I do worth it and I'm sure you can relate I just wish we lived closer <laughs> Like I definitely feel like that you and I would be good friends. Sorry Zach just swerved and it really threw me off Honey, could you pay attention to the road? I was drifting. Yeah Um but Mari, thank you so much. I I love watching your vid videos equally as much as you love watching mine. You are just such a sweet and genuine person and I feel like you keep it 100% real on your channel which is something I seriously value and something I really love about your channel. But again, thank you so much. It literally makes what I do worth it and it encourages me to keep going because I have been in a rut the past couple months I don't know I'm just like my creative energy is just like just been like at rock bottom and it's really weird because I've been doing the most right now to cultivate creative energy but I haven't had any like my ideas have been there but like just the follow-through with them has been really weird just feeling a little bit off with my fitness journey so hearing that my experiences have been helping you Mari that that's everything to me so thank you so much for the kind words i truly value your friendship and i couldn't be more grateful for the shout out i love you girl do it to get this baby inside oh, it's <laughs> snow touch it Ooh, it's cold that's olaf that's what olaf is made out of olaf's made out of snow yeah and Daddy's making a mess. Daddy, so this is what you do. You go. <laughs> Zachary! <laughs> <laughs> All the snow fell. What happened? Oh, your dad's a clown. Ooh. Oh, go take it to Granny. Hurry. <laughs> Hurry. <laughs> Rosalie, can I see it? Oh, oh it's, so cold. it's so chilly. <laughs> oh, did it get you? Throw it to daddy. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> say, say hi. Look, are we outside? <laughs> say hi to granny. Say hi, granny.
<laughs> it's cold. <laughs> Did you eat it? Oh. <laughs> Say ew. Oh. Woo. <laughs> Yay, Rosalie. Uh oh. Is your glove coming off? Do you love snow? Yay! <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Trying to stay cozy with you. Red. Red. Your cheeks are very red, baby. Oh, look at all that snow you brought in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you got snow all over your boots. And don't they let me when I fall? Winter's in bright. Too much on my plate. The cold up on my face. Now, yeah, fuck. <laughs> and I don't want to be here. I just want to be near.